Hello and welcome to Saturday Afternoon Football. Anthony Hudson broadcasting live. Today we are coming to you from Marvel Stadium. And with me is legend of the game, Gary Lyon. What a game we have here today, Hutto. It's been quite a build-up for this one. Well, today it's the Saints versus Fremantle. Captains make their way to the center circle for the coin toss. St Kilda winning the toss. Both these teams coming off good wins last week. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. And here's the bounce to begin the game. Won it down. Great control there. Robertson uses it by foot. Quickly onto the boot. Gresham gets the loose ball. The lead is that one. Looking for options now. Good mark by Wilson. Bangs it on the boot now. Marks now and can send it back. Plays on. Looks to move it by foot. Loney didn't mark it. Dug out the loose ball. Off the deck. Collier put himself a free. Slams it on the boot. He takes the mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Spills the mark. Hill going for number one. Chalk a goal up for St Kilda. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Puts the first goal on the ball. Thumps it clear. Clean from the half ball. Just through the ball. Uses it now. Takes an uncontested mark. Hogan throws the ball away. Hannabury puts it on the boot. Robertson globs the handball. Takes possession. Conkart grabbed it clean. Outstanding pressure. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. Chose to kick it. Butler wins the ball in the air. Puts it on the boot. A race for the loose ball. Gresham will be the recipient of the free. He takes aim. St Kilda. Someone home. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Gresham love kicking that one. That's two in a row for St Kilda. Great start by St Kilda. Guided down nicely by Lobb. Here's Gets the handball away. Doing well to intercept that kick. Uses it by foot. He gives chase to the footy. Steel puts his body on the line. Billings running off for a break. Ball up call. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Decides to keep it alive. Showing some really good pressure there. Gets into some space to mark this. 
Well taken at ground level. Matera pulls the trigger. Fremantle finds a way to get that one through. He puts through his first goal. He loved that one. Fremantle slot their first goal. Centre bounce. Swatson. Didn't get away from the tackle. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Abbott elects to kick it long. Stands tall and marks. Loney will have to put everything into this one. They chase after the loose ball. The loose ball scooped up. Constant pressure and rewarded. The umpire gives a free kick against Gresham. Blakely leading the race to the loose ball. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Great mark under pressure. Pumps the ball long. Picked off by Dunstan. Picks up the loose ball. Couldn't snaffle it. Hughes picks up the loose ball. Dunster going for number one. Good looking kick off the boot, and it's sailed through. No doubt about it. Gets a reward for his efforts. St Kilda. Clee is now 13. Umpire ready to resume play. Tap down. Well collected on the bounce. Fights the good fight. Ross checks it. An easy grab for Sinclair. St Kilda have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. Billings got hands to it. Steele celebrates with the fans. Now they lead by 19. Back with another set of bounce. Punches are clear. He's got the footy in his hands. Ross puts it to his advantage, decides to soccer it. The loose ball picked up. He drives it towards goal. He was celebrating that goal the moment it left his boot. Of course, Hunter. Hogan couldn't be happier with that goal. Fremantle still within touching distance. Big thump from Lobb. Gathers it now. Found a way to keep balance. The crowd roar for holding the ball. Great tackle. Moved on by Dunstan. Good body work to win the mark. With a driving kick. Great mark in the pack. 45 metres out. This should prove an easy angle for Steele. He slams it towards goal. That kick was pure. Yes, I know. He's got a couple now starting to get into this game. They get around him after that effort. 19 points the difference. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Hanabry is streaming past and gets the footy. Sockers it forward. Well collected. Sinclair just gets the kick away. He puts it out of bounds on the fall. Elects to kick. Wilson takes the mark. Decides to kick. The mark is taken by Hamlin. Moves it by foot. Found space for an easy mark. Wilson just took way too long. Dragged down by Patton. Great attack on the ball carrier. Goes for the goal. That's a well executed kick for a goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? That's his first. This kick has extended their lead. Patton enjoying that goal. Slapped away. Hanabry now. A strong pack mark. Sinclair right on the edge of his range. They'll be pleased with that effort. A nice long goal. Can't take possession. He acknowledges the crowd. That's three in a row. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The scores the are Saints 43, Fremantle 12. St Kilda started well. Now it's time for them to do it for four quarters. Both sides might want to work on their defence after a high-scoring opening term. What stands out for you, Gaz?
St Kilda got behind in the clearances, but has set up well enough defensively that it hasn't made a big impact. Thanks. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. We're back in the middle now. Lob thrashes it. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. Abbott unable to hold on. The ball ends up going to ground with quick hands. Jones, hurried kick. Gets into a good position to take that. Kick by Ryan. Ross gets on the end of this. Goes with the kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Goes by foot. Cox going for number one. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. Let's them down there. Fremantle close the gap to 30. Marshall ready to bring it back into play. Moves the ball by foot. Cox collects it. Great tackling there, Hutto. Carlisle can link up through hands. Scoops up the ball. Able to release the kick. That's something to smile about. Cox kicks his first. Look at them celebrate that effort. Fremantle reduced the margin. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Fremantle have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Lord couldn't stick the tackle. Loney leaps over the top. Goes by hand. Has a runner alongside him. Got hands to it. Hamling just gets it out of the boot. Hughes kicks in heavy traffic. Hogan marks in a bit of space. Got boot to ball. Takes the mark all by himself. Locke sends it clear of the contest. Savage quickly out of the boot. Ends up marking uncontested. He's got the football now. Gets it away. Slams it out of the boot. Hamling drops the mark. Put his body on the line. Just handballs into space. Hill now heading off to the bench for a break. My ball, says the umpire. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Walters shows some physicality. Akers needs to live. He needs to find a way into this game. Matera takes it strongly. Looks up with the kick. Great mark. Puts boot to ball. Robertson marks up contestant. St Kilda have the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. It's marked by Phillips. He drives it. Collects the loose ball. Conker uses the bump. Gets a quick kick away. Takes the mark. Hogan sets his sights on the goals. Puts it on the boot. Jones has it. Advances now. Moves it by foot. Marks that ball uncontested. Hanover goes with the kick. Over the top of the pack. Got boot to ball. Strong with the body and wins the mark. 45 metres out. Matera looking to put through another goal. That was sweet. They put through another. He's excited about that one. Fremantle could kick back-to-back -back goals. This game can still go either way. Abbott gets onto the ball. Taken by Phillips. The ball mopped up. Mops up the loose ball. Akers just put it on the boot. Great grab. St Kilda are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead.
does well to cut off the kick. Webster looks hurt. That doesn't look good. I don't think he'll be coming back. Finding the loose ball was Abbott. Keeps the ball in play. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. Karlov making his way onto the field. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. He heads for home. Good mark and looks to send it back. Das goes for territory. St Kilda have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. The boundary line wins. Thrown in now. Thrashes it. Ends up with Hughes. Ball up close to the boundary. Pierce got a fist to it. Abbott finds possession. The kick from Brian. Tackle locks the ball loose. Goes by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Pierce gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Finds the loose ball. The tackle over the shoulder. Savage drives the kick. Not much time left in the quarter. Butler going for number one. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Pretty happy with that one. St Kilda lead by 25. The game is back underway. Thump clear with the ball now. Pushes off the tackler. Couldn't pick off the deck. You've seen a half now, Gaz. Your thoughts? A good first half from St Kilda. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Let's have a closer look at the stats. St Kilda are gaining a lot of their advantage through some smart kicks and even better marking inside their forward 50. Thanks, Gaz. A big second half about to begin. About to resume hostilities. Lock with a big fist on it. Matera dropped what he should have taken. They can create from this. Carlo flicks it over. He has the ball. Gives it to Sinclair. Marking in space. Patton. Butler on the ball. Looking to kick goal number two. That kick hits the post. St Kilda starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 51 to 25. Marks all alone. Ryan with a drilling ball. Demand gets in a good position. A low stabbing kick. Fife has a great set of hands. Fife sends one up towards the wing. St Kilda haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. He's enjoying that goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Fremantle could cost themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Pushes through with power. Ryan couldn't keep his hands on it. No issues with that drop punt. Three goals for him now. What an effort. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around still. 26 points the difference. Abbott thumps it forward. Loses control of the ball. Tabernak was taken high in the tackle. Searches for a teammate downfield. Loney, there to mop up. Wins the race to the ball. Just dismisses his opponent. Lobs the handball. Handball's under pressure. A chance to reload the attack now. Carlo elects to kick. The ball kept alive. Punches the kick. Finds this one all by himself. Works it across the ground. 
He just sets the ball well. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. St Kilda forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Chera earns a free kick. Marks in a bit of space. Kolya slams it towards goal. A drop punt through the goals. He celebrates hard after that. Fremantle behind by 20. Back in the middle now. Hammers it. He gains possession. He gets above the crowd. 50 metres out. Has a chance to put a second goal on the board. What a fantastic goal. Smiles all round. St Kilda doing well at the moment. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Punched away. Dunstan applying physical pressure. Links with hands. Steele continues to dominate this contest. He is dominating this game. He wins possession. Celebrating hard. St Kilda by 32. We're back in motion. Abbott with a punch. Steel onto the ball. Law coming on. And now we'll have a ball up. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's just not enough effort out there at the minute. Phillips applies a bump. We'll get a stoppage. Taps it down. Phillips goes for territory. Manufactures the handball. Up for grabs for Dunstan. They can link up now. The ball goes over the boundary line, deep inside 50. We'll get a ball in. Ball tossed back in. Well picked up. Looking to rebound with the kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Moves the ball by foot. A solid mark for Ross. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Go for goal number one. Long kick there. Will it go all the way? It does. That pushes the lead further out. Ross celebrating hard. We resume hostilities. Long hurls it away. Difficult ball controlled. Tabernak slams it onto the boot. Looks to move it by foot. Has a man running for him. Fantastic goal by Hogan. His teammates rush over. Fremantle now only trailed by 32. We're back in the middle to resume play. Law just slaps it down. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Decides to go to the middle. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Law just swats it away. Webster hacking it out of there. Got the hands free. Mundy wins it back. Rushes with the kick. Fumbles the ball. Gets the loose ball. Tabernak puts the foot down. Oh, just hits the post. They have to take those half chances. Fremantle still hopeful of reducing this margin. Plays on from the kick in. He runs it over the line. The boundary umpire will toss it back in. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Move it on. Hogan already has two goals. This for a third. Congratulated by his teammates. Trying to get this back to a manageable deficit now. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. This is how they can score Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Fremantle are playing a very controlling game. They're taking plenty of marks and denying the opposition possession. Practicing some fancy moves. Marshall doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. 
and the mark will be paid. Hogan moves it now. Good mark and looks to send it back. St Kilda have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. And the mark has been taken. What did you think of the third term, Gaz? St Kilda will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. The forwards starting to take control of this game. Plenty of goals in that quarter. Here's Gary to take a look at the key stats. Fremantle need to tighten up once the ball leaves the contest. The opposition are getting... Last quarter action, ready to go. Oh, they've got to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Lob won the hit out. Has it now. He strikes the tackle off there. Missed the target. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Fantastic pressure there. Ball up in the centre square. Lord clears the contest. The loose ball scooped up. Ryan brushed off easily. Loney going for number one. It always looks close and hits the post. The lead is now 26. St Kilda are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. A chance to reload the attack now. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. The ball rolls across the line. Looks like we'll have a throw in. Ball back into play. Lock with the hit. He lays off the pass. He likes his chances from here. He delivers with the drop pass. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Sinclair getting the crowd involved. They continue to push this lead out. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. The Dockers have struggled to get the ball forward to centre. Look at the inside 50 difference. They're getting well beat. St Kilda, ruck work needs to be a bit better. Too many of their hitouts are getting sharked by the opposition. Still failed to get rid of it and is penalised. Big tackle. Wilson found some space and marked. St Kilda just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Does well to cut off the kick. Puts boot to ball. He looks like he needs a spell. Matera just threw it. They're doing really well to choose some time off the clock here. Tips it towards half forward. Marks now and can send it back. Conker has resources out wide. Aker's got under it. Chose to kick it. Mark by Anfield. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. St Kilda forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Bart goes off the ground. Tabernacle gathers it now. Brilliant chance. Geary uses it by foot. There'll be a ball up close to goal. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. Umpire calls for the ball. Pierce gets it down. Savage with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Akers off the deck. Kicks hurriedly. Patton couldn't snaffle it. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Hands it out to open space. Doing well was Steele. Off hands, we haven't seen it for a while, I guess. That's right, I know, he just can't seem to get into the game. The Saints beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 83 to 50. Elects to kick. 
drops the mark. Demand not getting much of it, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Won the hit out. One down. Gathers it now. Dunstan slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. He gives it a ride. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Five goals now with no signs of slowing down. They increase their lead. Look at them celebrate that effort. About to resume play. Thump by Glob. A chance for Conker. Winning the ball in the air was Robertson. He drives it. Clean pick up by Howard. Carlo soccer's the kick. They really need a goal on the board now. McCarthy sinks it from a long way out. They get around him after that effort. Fremantle behind by 33. St Kilda have been controlling stoppages and lead the clearances. If they can clean up their ball use after the clearance, they can give themselves a chance. Gresham will be the recipient of the free. Moving on. Going for goal number two. He's excited about that one. He's enjoying every second of it out there. This kick puts them further into the lead. Gresham loves that goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. That's a really good team goal. Fremantle have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Howard links with a teammate who can run. Finds this and marks well. The kick from Hamlin. The boundary line wins this race. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Akers just dismisses Marshall. Puts it into space. Is in his possession. Blakely has the ball. A great defensive effort. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Guides it down. He gets his hands on the footy. Wants to keep it moving. Patton dug out the loose ball. Loney can't hold on to the tackle. Off hands from Mundy. He'll hit the man hard. He just throws that ball. Decides to kick. He just sets the ball well. St Kilda are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Conker goes with the kick. Nice mark under pressure. Blakely keeps that one low. Ryan runs after the ball. Kick by Jones. Ross goes off the deck and nails the goal. Puts his second on the board. This league getting bigger now. Congratulated by his teammates. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. This is how they can score Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Fremantle have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the... The game never reached any great heights, and it ended as a bit of a one-sided affair. What were your thoughts on the match, Gas? A disappointing result here today. I think we came here expecting a tighter encounter, and it just blew out on the scoreboard in the end. Much appreciated, Gas. Final scores at 101 to 56. That's all for today. On behalf of myself, Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.